So, this is my look from This Is England. This is the character Smell. For those of you who watch This Is England, you will recognise this character because she's very, very iconic. It's quite a hard look to create, obviously punk. This is her look from This Is England 86. Now, Rosamund Hansen, the brilliant, brilliant actress who plays Smell, has got a very, very different face to mine. Um, so I didn't try and make myself look like her as such. I just tried to recreate the look. The most iconic part of the look has got to be the eyes. They're very striking. And Rosamund has got the most beautiful, big, round eyes. So I kind of tried to recreate that by drawing in a fake socket line. I forgot to put my camera on for the first half. I'm really, really annoyed with myself. Um, so I will have to refilm the first half. So if you're wondering why in the first bit I am already wearing my costume and then I'm suddenly not wearing a costume, that is why. Because I'm an idiot. Yes, I'm an idiot. So anyway, hope you like the look. To repeat the bit of the tutorial that I didn't film. Um, I'm not going to literally go through every single step because I don't think some of it's necessary. Uh, for my face, I used a mix of white goth and Max Factor Skin Luminizer. Stippled on a little bit of the white goth first with my foundation brush and then stippled on the Skin Luminizer and then mixed Laura Mercier uh, secret concealer, and dry concealer, with again some of the goth white. And I took a deep brown eyeshadow and an angled, firm angled brush. Did my eyebrows. Um, took them up a little bit higher on the point there, um, because that's what smells eyebrows look like. To create smells high rounded socket line, which I don't have, I took a small firm brush and a dark grey eyeshadow and I just drew that fake socket line slightly above mine as I'm pointing out there. Then I took goth white again, a small brush, and just painted the lid white. A wider flat brush and a matte white eyeshadow and just patted the matte white over the top. I then took Boots 17 High Drama Liquid Liner to create the iconic liner look. same angled brush that I used for the brows and I took this deep sort of charcoal -y grey and just went over that bottom line. A little domed eyeshadow brush and this sort of burgundy colour. You can keep this quite hard, it doesn't need to be completely blended out like a modern day maker would be, but you will just want to blend out the edges just slightly. And just take that down to meet that wing. I'm just taking the white shade that we patted on the lid. Just use that to just soften those edges slightly. And This was my face when I realised that I hadn't turned my camera on. Idiot. And I'm just showing a kind of speeded up version. Oh, incidentally, that is the list of ideas for horror tutorials that a friend of mine gave me. I used the waterproof pen liner just to kind of tighten up the points in the inner corners and underneath the eyes too. Um, as mentioned earlier, this is a speeded up version because most of this has been covered in the first part, which was actually the second part because of the way I filmed it, but I think you get the gist. 
And as you can see, I'm just putting a little bit of blush, not too much. Now creating the little Cupid's bow mouth shape that the actress who plays Snell has. Um, very different to my own mouth shape. Um, like I said earlier, I'm not trying to mimic the way the actress looks, just trying to get kind of the overall look really. Um, so then just filled that in with the same pencil before putting over Media by MAC, which is like a real dark sort of plummy colour. Finally adding Smell's Beauty Mark. Now onto hair, I'm taking Orbe's sort of dry shampoo volumizing spray and spraying that in the front to help me back comb to create that sort of punky quiff. Um, and then just <laughs> brushing that through and doing a bit, a little bit of back combing using both a comb and a tangle teaser just to get that height and then using a bun donut and just pinning that into my hair before brushing the top over to create that kind of quick bump, whatever you want to call it. And then just pinning that into place with a mixture of different grips and pins and whatever's going to hold it up there basically. And then just taking the back, putting that up on the sides. Smell has actually got the sides of her hair shaved, but I wasn't going to go that far just for a video. Sorry about that. Just putting the rest of the back up and then just back combing that before spraying with lots of hairspray and pinning in place. Finally, punk accessories. I'm using a blessed bustle as a makeshift punky bridal veil and some big earrings and a necklace. So, there you go. There's an almost complete tutorial. If anybody from Mrs. England production team, writers, actors, actresses ever happen to see this, you're amazing, I love you, and thank you for doing such an incredible, incredible series. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And yeah, see you soon.